Namaste dosto! I'm about to take you to a little video game store in Pakistan's old smugglers market near the Afghan border. And there, we'll see what the console scene is like for our bros in Pakistan. Pakistan is predominantly a mobile gaming market. Then there's the PC master race because it's easier to convince your parents that you need a computer for schoolwork. And you can pirate the most games on PC saving you money. And then there's the console market. Pakistan even has old school arcades. I found many of these places in small towns and man, it just took me back to my childhood going down to the dairy and playing Street Fighter 2. But no, we're here in very special Nankana so I have these guys are playing foosball and there's like an arcade. Yeah? How much is this phone? Yellow <laughs> care Hey! Hello, hello! Hello! Video games! <laughs> and if you hang around to the end of this video, I'll get my mate Zach to show you his gaming setup in Lahore. Now, Chalo, let's go to the store. So, I found a video game store. This is Imranka Games store. And you can see, let's get past PS5 here. Hey? If you're thinking I look like PewDiePie, let me know in the comments. Now, if you thought you were getting ripped off by scalpers, the PS5 retails here for 830 American dollars. Even India has a better price at $630. Where I'm from originally, New Zealand, the price matches the $499 US price tag and that includes all taxes so the PS5 might actually be cheaper in New Zealand than the US. This store didn't have any Series X in stock and that's probably due to the pricing. It's going to be really hard to sell a PS5 at $830 so it'll be even harder to sell a Series X as Xbox just isn't as popular in Pakistan. Keep in mind the median average salary here is just $370 a month. The Xbox Series S is obviously a much easier sell here. But even these current gen consoles don't sell well for another reason. The games are too expensive here. There's no special Pakistani pricing for games to match locals' incomes. They're expected to pay the same price as Americans who earn multiple times more. And this is the same situation in India. Console games are just too expensive. So that's why piracy is so popular here. It's really unfair to charge Pakistanis and Indians American prices for games. And I'm looking for a game actually, but he's just seeing if he can find it. I'm getting The Witcher 3 because I haven't played it yet. And my brother keeps telling me, you've got to play it. And I've made two other vlogs, one in Delhi, one in Lahore at actual video game markets where they have just tons of stores. Most console game stores, their main business is actually in last generation consoles consoles that are able to be modded to play pirated games. The PS3, PS4 and Xbox 360 are all popular sellers at good prices and they come bundled with all the games you could ever want. See right there he has 18 Xbox 360s but only two of the last gen Xbox Ones because they can't be modified. And then on the floor you can see various parts for repairing consoles to keep these old machines going. And this whole scene just reminds me of being a kid in the 90s. I didn't have any money, my parents didn't have much money, so as soon as I could, I got a paper run and then I got a part-time job. Then I was able to modify my consoles and spend all my spare time playing games with my little bro and yeah, that's the same kind of vibe we still have here in Pakistan and India. So, so it's a gaming store here? Did not too many game stores actually I, I expected a lot more now before we end let's check out my mate Zach's gaming rig in Lahore and his setup reminds me a lot of my childhood setup so first of all I have a random like a normal chair the plastic one we have actually three tables so this one's for the TV and the PS4 this table is for the PC and this table is for my keyboard mouse headset and sometimes my controller. So yeah, uh, first of all, I have my PS4 over here. 
I just got this controller. It's a new one. And I've got this controller, the, the car, this controller, car gave it to me. And it's a PS5 controller. I use it on my PC to play games. It's, you know, it's comfortable. And after that, we have these, some RGB lightning speakers. I don't know, these were from a local brand kind of thing, I don't know. And here we have our internet dongle. And over here, we have our professor. What's up? And this is our PC. So as you guys know, the spec specification of my PC, it's just, it just looks cool on the de desk. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. This is my PS4 and this is what, what I, where the stuff I play. It's just recent Cricket 19, God of War, Fall Guys, GTA, Need for Speed, Minecraft, all this stuff. For a 15 year old, I think that is a pretty sweet setup there, Zach. Now, tell me in the comments, what kind of setup did you have as a teen?